All right, guys, welcome back uh, to the woods of Minnesota. And uh, welcome back to Ellie. We're so glad to uh, be back with her and to be out adventuring again. I brought the bike cabin out today. And uh, if you haven't seen this thing before, I built this to be light enough to tow behind an e-bike. And it works pretty well. It's only about three and a half feet wide and eight feet long, just big enough to be able to sleep relax and take shelter from the elements, which we may have to do tonight. We're expecting uh, some rain and possibly some thunderstorms. Hunting season has officially started in Minnesota. I think it's grouse hunting that people are doing right now, which is why Ellie and I are rocking the orange vests. Feels really good being back out in the woods here in Minnesota. No place like home, you know? <laughs> Ellie, oh my gosh. You know I have to sleep in the same bed as you tonight, right? Right? So we are in Sand Dunes State Forest in central Minnesota. So something you gotta look out for when you're here is poison ivy. It is absolutely everywhere. In fact, every time I come to Sand Dunes, I get poison ivy. Uh, in fact, here's some right down here. Yeah, there's more right there. All of these plants here with the little berries, those are all poison ivy plants. It's absolutely everywhere. Ellie doesn't mind though, do ya? Oh, come on, get out of there. <laughs> Straight through she goes. Thank you for this food and uh, this time out in the woods. Amen. You know, I'm someone that has uh, struggled with anxiety for most of my life, and I always used to wonder why nature just drew me in so much more than other people. And I, I really think it's because of that sense of calm and peace that I feel out here. But I also noticed that when I came back from these trips, that anxiety just came rushing back in. I want to introduce you guys to the sponsor of today's video, Better Help. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and to help you. 
And I know that getting started in therapy can be really hard. When I first decided to do it, it took a while to find the right therapist for me. Well, thankfully, BetterHelp can match you with one of over 30,000 licensed therapists in their network. Therapy really helped me to uncover some of these deeply rooted things that were holding me back and creating some of that anxiety. Now, if you want to give BetterHelp a try, you can do so by following the link in the description of this video and getting started is super easy. All you have to do is fill out a questionnaire that helps kind of narrow the search of what therapist might be right for you. And oftentimes you get matched with someone in 48 hours or less. You'll be able to schedule therapy sessions at a time that's convenient to you. And you can do so with either a phone call, video chat, or even messaging. And if the therapist your first match with doesn't feel like the right fit, which can be common when starting therapy, you can easily switch to a new therapist with no additional cost and without stressing about insurance, who's in your network, or anything like that. So if you think that BetterHelp is right for you, you can follow my personal link, betterhelp.com slash tinycabinlife. Clicking the link helps support the channel and also gives you access to 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can see if it's right for you. And with that, I wanna thank BetterHelp again for sponsoring this video. dog. Let there be light. And now let there be ventilation. Let's open these windows. There we go. All right. That is a lot better. Now for all of you who are new here, I'll give you a very short tour so as I said earlier, this thing is three and a half feet wide, eight feet long. I've got a mattress in here and it's just enough space to be able to sleep me, Ellie here, and be able to keep our luggage, you know, some food, other supplies. We've got three windows inside the cabin, one here, one on the other side, and then one down there at the end. And all of them open up and have screens. So we've got great ventilation in here. We've got very basic electricity, just a little USB power station, just enough to power our light in here, and two fans, uh, more for the summertime, although we may use them tonight, we'll see. And that's about it, you know, it's small enough to be able to tow with a bike, and just big enough to be able to not only sleep, but hang out a little bit. Turn off the lights, see if you can see anything out there. Man, I love the smell of rain. So fresh. Perfect time for a little bit of uh, rye whiskey. That was good. Man, this is so nice. All right, so the rain has stopped, at least for now. I think we got to uh, blow out the candles here. 
Whoa. Oh, that's a lot of wax. Holy moly. All right, let's go back in. Good job. And with that, we will see you guys bright and early in the morning. Good night. Good morning, Al. It's time to get some coffee. Yeah, uh, got it all prepped and ready last night. You come back in. Come on. There you go. the spot it's actually kind of a chilly morning not like for winter standards but fall is definitely here i slept really well uh i only had just one light blanket and actually ended up getting a little chilly so i shut down the windows and threw you know this flannel on and that was that was good enough to keep me warm which is good <sighs> well i think it's about time we get out for a little little walk what do you say al <laughs> i think she agrees So this morning we're gonna walk down uh, the trail actually that we biked in on because it's really, really beautiful. And it's just filled with pine trees and stuff. And it's a big open trail, so I'm not really worried about hunters or uh, poison ivy. <laughs> Look at the colors of the leaves here. Man, having that mixture of green and red and orange is just so beautiful. Ooh, so check this out, you guys. This is pretty cool. So as you can see, we've got the original pines that were planted when this was, you know, first designated as a state forest. And then you can see, we've also got the younger ones that have since grown up and, uh, they're just dwarfed by the original pines.
All right, that's gonna do it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, man, it was such a great night out here. Being able to, you know, tow our little cabin into the middle of the woods with a bike. I mean, come on, that is just like so incredibly cool. As always, I wanna thank our patrons for their support. Uh, it really means the world. If you wanna support us in that way, there's a link in the description of this video. But otherwise, we are out of here. We'll see you next week. Come on out.